is up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. I have all my makeup done except for my eyeshadow and that is because today we are filming with the ColourPop Yes Please palette. I am so excited to film this video. I was so excited to get this in the mail. So let's jump right on into the video. But before we do, if you are new here, hi, my name is Kendra. I post three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you want to see them, you should hit the subscribe button down below. But anyways, I'll stop talking and let's get right on into the video. So, I'm gonna put my bangs, hair, stuff, whatever you like to call it, back into bobby pins. So it's out of my face. Okay, so I guess we should start by going over the palette. So on the front, it says, yes, please, pressed powder shadow, pressed powder shadow palette. <laughs> um, and on the back, it just has, yes, please, has all the names. There are two shadows, I believe, only two that are previous ColourPop shadows. And I believe those are full zip and note to self. And I actually think I already own both of those two, but that's okay, I can give them to my sister. But everything else is an exclusive, like, or new shade. They might put these as singles, but I, for now, they are only in this palette, which is so cool and so exciting. And um, anyways, yeah, I just got this in the mail today, so I'm so excited to play with it. So, cute AF packaging. <laughs> and um, on the back, it just has all the shades, kind of like the back of the carton it came in. So yeah, it just has all these shades on the back, and I think this packaging is so cute. It's so ColourPop, fresh, young, vibrant, and fun, and I love it. And then on the inside, it just says ColourPop, hashtag ColourPop me. It has, what is this, 16 shades? Nope, 12 shades. 12 shades, but for $16, that is an insane value, and ColourPop shades, in my opinion, are up there close like Anastasia Beverly Hills, like not as close to Kat Von D because I think Kat Von D shades are out of this world, but you know what I'm saying? Like they're so pigmented, so blendable, increíble. The only thing I wish is it had a mirror, especially for when I'm filming, I use the mirrors that I are on the palettes or the packaging or whatever I'm filming with, just because it's easier to see than the bulky mirror I have to the side, you know what I'm saying? This is stunning. This is so similar to the Natasha Denona um, Sunset palette. I do not have that palette. I wish I had that palette. I wish I could afford that palette right now. I wish I could afford a lot of her palettes right now because her shadows, I've heard, are so incredible and I've never tried them. But I think they kind of made this palette with that in mind, the Natasha Denona, like, this is very summer 2017, kind of also heading into fall of 2017 with these rich, warm oranges, kind of like some burgundy inspired shadows here. Like, you know what? I'm just really excited. I love ColourPop, especially adore their pressed powder, pressed powder, pressed powder formula. <laughs> So, I am just gonna stop blabbering. I am going to create an eye look with this, and I will just give you guys my thoughts as we go. And if I have any final thoughts at the end, I will give those to you as well. Okay, so this shade is like absolutely stunning. It's like a tangerine gold. So I definitely wanna incorporate this, and so is this. Like, I, you know what? I just think these are some really beautiful shades. So I'm gonna start off using this shade right here. This is called Champs and it's like a peachy nude shade and I am going to take this into my crease and as a transition shade. This shade is like a perfect transition shade for somebody with a similar skin tone as me, like light and fair. On like a no makeup makeup day, it would be gorgeous just to kind of like sweep this all over the lid, kind of like build it up to be really pigmented because this is a really pretty like light peachy nude shade that I think would complement lighter skin tones very well. I don't know how well this would show up on like medium to deep, medium dark to deep, you know, but it's really pretty. Okay, for the next shade, I'm going to take this shade right here called GNO, and I'm going to use this to deepen up the crease. I'm just gonna take a little bit, start with a little, and then go maybe in a little deeper, just because I don't want it to get too dark. These shadows are so pigmented. This is a really gorgeous color. It's like a bricky, light brown red. 
like a brick red light brown. <laughs> Clearly I'm not the best at uh, describing. I'm gonna take the original brush just to kind of blend everything out a little bit more. Taking more of GNO on the same brush, I'm just going to place this like right out here in the outer third just to add some more depth and I'm gonna sweep a little bit more into the outer V of my crease. It's funny because I feel like this shade picks up a lot more like peachy on my eye than it actually is. Like a lot lighter and a lot more peachy, but you know what? It's still really pretty. And jumping back into the original brush again, I just kind of want to blend everything out. It's kind of how I work. I work, you know, I do a lot of blending when I'm putting the shadows on my eye, but usually I go in afterwards and do a little bit more blending. And, and that's just the technique that works for me that doesn't work for everybody and I understand, but that's what I like to do. Okay, and just to kind of slightly mimic what we were doing before, I wanna layer another shadow on top of it. When you start layering shadows, it looks so beautiful and it looks so seamless and flawless and just this gorgeous transition. So I'm gonna take this shade down here, which is called Note to Self, which is a shade I already have, but it is a good color. This is a light brown. This is not cool toned by any means, but it's more cool than the color I was just using. So it's gonna create more of a natural shadow. See the difference between this eye and this eye? See this eye? See that eye. Now what I'm gonna start off by using is this gorgeous tangerine gold shade called Chauffeur. And I am going to take this and sweep this across most of the lid, but I'm gonna leave the inner corner kind of blank. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Going back into this brush, I'm taking more of this shade down here called Note to Self and sweeping that across the crease again just to transition the shade we just put down. Now I'm gonna take this shade cut right here and this is called Butter Cake, which is such a cute name. But this is gonna be kind of the inner corner, like highlight, I guess you could say. So I brought this into the inner corner. I'm gonna say it not to be cliche, but I do think this resembles the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette because right now my eyes literally looked like a sunset and I did not even plan that. Okay, and just to start onto the lower lash line, I'm taking the original shade we used up here, which is called Champs. It's that like peachy nude color. And I'm just taking it on a pencil brush and sweeping this across my lower lash line. So that created like a really subtle color down there. And then I'm going to take an even smaller brush and I'm going to take Note to Self again, which is this great shade down here. And that is just gonna go a lot closer to my lower lash line. To bring some of that fun color down to my lower lash line, I'm going to take this shade, which is called Chauffeur. It is that mustardy, tangerine gold color, and I'm just going to kind of place this on the inner part of my lower lash line. Okay, another thing I love, love, love about this palette is it has a matte highlight shade, which I always use. This is called Full Zip. I do already have this shade, so I know it works, and I'm gonna use it. Okay guys, so this is the final eye look. Okay, so the only final thoughts I have to say about this is these shades, <laughs> these shades are so vibrant, so gorgeous, so summery. Like this is the, like this is an iconic summer palette, like with these bright yellow tones and orange tones and lots of reds, it's so beautiful. One thing I will say is this, I feel like the shades did show up a little bit different than I expected on my eyes. Like they didn't, like I didn't just pick this up and be like, oh yeah, that's exactly what it looked like on my eye. I don't know if that makes sense to you. I feel like it looked a little different, but stunning. The quality is just as good as the previous shadows that ColourPop has come out with. I cannot complain. This is beautiful. I definitely see myself reaching for this. I see so many different eye looks just by looking at this. Like six or seven different looks I can create with this, which is so fun because I love ColourPop. And, and ColourPop, thank you so, 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 so much for coming out with palettes. Person like me, 
much prefers palettes over single shadows. I just would rather have it there for me. I get more inspiration looking at palettes than I do looking at single shadows. There are some shadows that really give me inspiration, but when I look at a palette, I'm like, do you see all the combinations I could create with this? But when I look at a single shadow, I kind of have to struggle to find other shadows that go with it. Does that make sense? Maybe I'm not as creative as other people. I don't know. But ColourPop, thank you so, so much. I love this. I cannot wait for you guys to come up with more palettes. I will buy all of them, probably, because I love ColourPop and I love their shadow formula. It really is incredible, especially for the price. Even ignoring the price, it's incredible, but especially for the price. It is increíble. Okay, and because we are rolling with ColourPop today, I am going to finish off the look with the B's Knees uh, Blotted Lip. I also love these so much. This look is obviously much brighter than anything I've ever done, so it's a little bit different for me, but I love the formula of the blotted lips, so I wanted to apply this one. Okay, anyways, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I love you very much. I hope you enjoyed this review, tutorial, demo, first impressions, whatever you want to call it, on the brand new ColourPop Yes Please palette. If you did, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, definitely make sure to subscribe, and then you will see all three videos a week that I post. If you wanna watch them, you should. Anyways, guys, I will let you go. Have a great morning, noon, evening, day, night, whenever it is that you're watching this. I love you very much. Thank you for supporting me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!